as has been done upon Jerusalem, upon Israel. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the most high power, our power, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand the truth, understand the law of the most high. We just turn from iniquity, just like right now. You tell people you got, you're under the law. We ain't under the law, but we're in the mercy and grace. As long as his blood was red, and he died for me. Very arrogant. In me. That's why I say misery will come to the people on this earth because of pride. You can't tell them nothing. Let's go to First Samuel. First Samuel, the sixth chapter. We'll start at verse 19. And he smote the men of Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of the Most High. Even he smote of the people 50,000 50, and three score. 50,000, 50, three score, score is 20. 50,000 and 60 and 10 men. That's 50,000, 70 men. And he smote of the people 50,000 and 70 men. And the people lamented. Can you imagine 50,000, 70 men died at one time? And the people lamented because the Most High has smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of the Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy power most high? While Mashiach Yahweh shall to destroy it, and to whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messages to the inhabitants of the Joph Jerim, saying, the Philistines have brought again the ark of the most high. Come ye down and fetch it up to you. <laughs> Get it out of our hands. <laughs> this is our power, man. Holiness, man. Our holy power. It's holy. That's why we gotta be holy. That's why we are holy people to the most high. The only way you're holy is to do what he say do. And follow his instructions. You know what happened to Job. Look at Job the sixth chapter. Read verse. Uh, says so let me start at verse verse 8 it says oh that I might have my request Job 6 and 8 and that the Most High would grant me the thing that I long for. And he's screaming this. Exclamation point. He's hollering this. Oh, that I might have my request and that the Most High would grant me the thing that I long for. Even that I would please the Most High to destroy me. Even that it would please the Most High to destroy me. That he would let loose his hand and cut me off. He's screaming this. Then should I yet, let's let this go, then should I yet have comfort. Yeah, I would harden myself in sorrow. Let him not spare, for I have not concealed the words of the Holy One. And that's the most high. 
Say, what is my strength that I should hope? And what is my end that I should prolong my life? Is my strength the strength of stones? Or is my flesh of brass? Is not my help in me? And is wisdom driven quite from me? For him that is afflicted, pity should be shown from his friend when he forsaketh the fear of the Almighty. Can't do that. See, the fear of the Most High is a given of, of knowledge. But when you stop dealing with the words of the Most High, you, have to, you don't know how to fear the Most High. You don't know the words of the Most High. You don't fear him. Therefore, you do anything. And think and justify it, then the most I say he's gonna hurt you. He's gonna, he gonna say he's gonna bring that evil upon you. Because you don't fear him. Because he's not in your mind, he's not in your vocabulary, he's not he's not in anything about you, so therefore you ain't about him. Straight up. You don't confess to him, he ain't confess you before the most high. My shot of shine ain't confessing. That's only what we get to the most high. It's through him. He's the way, the truth, and the lie. No man coming to the Father but by me. So he said, you'll confess me before man. I ain't gonna confess you before the Most High. And he's not confess you before the angels. That's why a lot of you women that don't have your hair covered, you don't have, you don't have no covering, and you out there dealing with these angels, these spirits, because y'all don't weak confess them, they're gonna come into you and deal with you. Straight up. And you men too, that's infeminine. Bunch of infeminine men out there now. They tell you, that, that's what they tell you. The last days are gonna be just like that. We see it in our time. More and more and more. I ain't walking on no eggshells. Just so you 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 won't you won't feel what it is that's written in this Bible. I'm not walking on no eggshells. Straight up. That's why you gotta man up. You say, gird up your Lord like a man. Be a man. Let's, 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 let's work to make it to the king together. Look, Psalm the 22nd chapter. Verse 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabited the praises of Israel. To the most high is holy. That's why he says he's holy. So we gotta be holy. Because he's holy. And he chose us as his chosen people to be holy. Be true and pure to him. Dealing in his truth. So our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted. And thou didst deliver them. See, we need deliverance. We need to be saved. You gotta know what you gotta be saved from. Because they coming down on you. So John 1 68. This is being saved. No, Luke, uh, not St. John 1 68, but uh, Luke. Luke 168. Blessed is the most high power of Israel. It's Luke 1, the first chapter, 68 verse. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Not everybody, but he visited and redeemed his people. And have raised up and horn, which means a power of salvation for us, his people, who are the 12 tribes of Israel in the house of his servant David. We know Mashiach came out of the tribe of Judah. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, went back to the old scrolls of the Old Testament, which have been since the world began, that we, who is the we? The children of Israel, should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's who we gotta be saved from. Our enemies and from the hand of all the people that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The 
remember his holy coming. It's an oath that was promised to our forefathers. And remember the covenant. Who was the covenant given to? Psalms 105 and 8. He had remembered his covenant forever. So that's why he told us to perform in Luke 172. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Psalms 105 and 8. Who's the covenant given to? He had remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. Abraham had a son named Isaac. And confirmed the same unto Jacob. Isaac had a son by the name of Jacob. For a law. And to Israel representing the twelve tribes of Israel. For an everlasting covenant. There it is right there people. Don't say nobody else. Just say to Israel. <clears throat> now for those New Testament buffs, let's go into Hebrews, the book of Hebrews. Eight and eight. Hebrews eight and eight. So let's see this covenant that was given to Abraham, passed on to Isaac, passed on to Jacob, passed on to the twelve tribes. If it changed, and it's going to all the other nations. Let's read. Hebrews eight and eight. For finding fault with them, talking about the children of Israel, he said, "Behold, the days come," said the Most High, "when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel." That's the northern kingdom, the northern ten tribes, and the house of Judah, the southern kingdom. Judah and Benjamin. The Levi was amongst all the tribes. They were the priests. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, where we went to, because they continued not in my covenant. And I regarded them not. That's when he put us in captivity, slavery, and bondage. He said he would do. Said the Most High. Listen, we're looking to see if this covenant that he gave to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to the 12 tribes of Israel, going to be going to be given to any other nation besides the 12 tribes of Israel. And this is in the New Testament. He said, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Most High. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the most high know it my shock of shot for all shall know me from the least to the greatest for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more so I don't say that about nobody else no other nation it's just saying Israel He's not going to remember our unrighteousness. He ain't going to remember our sins and our iniquities anymore. In that he said a new covenant he have made the first old. Now that which decay of the righteous old is ready to vanish away. Because now he gives us more of the understanding of his word. In this day and time because the scripture was good. This book was made for the, for the generation to come. We that generation. So we have we have the whole volume of the book to go by. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept, nine upon nine, nine upon nine, here a little, and there a little. So it's no, it's no, we have no excuse. That's why when the judgment comes, it's gonna come, it's gonna be a righteous judgment because we have no excuse. It's no excuse. What you gonna say? Oh, I wish I should have could, it's too late. It's too late. That's for your opportunity now. Don't lose your opportunity. Don't lose it. So we see, I mean, I, I, I just say that because 
you know, people trying to bring everybody else in, come on. It's not going to work. These nations are going to never know the most high. Look, Psalms, the 47th chapter. Most high reigneth, verse 8. The most high reigneth over the heathen. Hear that? And the Mashiach Gavashai reigneth over the heathen. The most high sit upon the throne of his holiness. This our power. He's reigning over the heathen. Well, how is that? I thought the earth gave to the hand of the wicked. Yeah. Most high reigneth over the heathen. 